Hello, hello, and welcome to the October 2013 Gaming PC Builds of the Month here at Noob Computer Build. My name is Corey. Uh, this month we have the usual $600, $1,000, and $1,500 builds. So let's get started. With the $600 build this month, there have been a, a couple changes. I have switched it around and had some inspiration. Uh, but as per usual, we have the AMD FX 6300. Uh, processor this month, the Unlock series for $109.99, highly overclockable, a great budget uh, gaming PC uh, processor because it has a, a ton of potential in my opinion. Moving on, the motherboard, we have switched up this month to the MSI. Uh, this MSI board, the 970A G43, it's a cheaper board, not as many features. Uh, you can crossfire uh, with it, but I wouldn't recommend and you can't and you can't SLI so it is a good budget board and it allows us to stick in a bunch of good pieces of hardware however if you want more a little more features go to last month's build and you can check out that board there which was a little more expensive but what inspired me to choose this board this month was uh, this month uh, for anyone that hasn't heard of it before Tom's hardware every quarterly does a, a few builds called the System Builder Marathon, and uh, their $650 build, so not their $600 build this month, uh, inspired me to switch a few things around. So as you can see, they chose the AMD FX6300 as well, uh, so nothing special there, and they do use the stock CPU cooler. However, they do use the same motherboard, the 970G43. Uh, they say it's $70 right now. I saw it for $66.99, so around there. Uh, however, this did allow them to stick in a slightly better graphics card or a better graphics card and a few other things. Uh, and the other thing that I did switch around, which we'll get through, is the power supply. However, they use this GTX 760. So if you do have, say, 50 more dollars to spend, since I do a $600 build, you can jump up to this GTX 760. However, as you can see moving on here in my build, I do use this Gigabyte HD 7870 2 gigabyte card, which is a significant upgrade over what we did last month. So if you want to check out last month's build, um, you can compare and contrast if you like, but I think there's more uh, potential to have uh, more performance out of this one here as we skim down on the less essentials. Moving on, we have the usual 8 gigabyte uh, sticks of RAM, two 4 gigabyte sticks. Uh, this month we have the Crucial Ballistics Sport package. RAM has been a little more pricey than usual all around the board, but this seemed to be the best uh, fit for this month at $74.99. Uh, we have the usual 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive for $55. Uh, for about $10 more, you can bump it up to a 1 terabyte. However, I didn't include that uh, as I usually don't in the $600 build, but Keep it in mind if you if you need the more space uh, immediately. The power supply this month, I did change it again. Uh, however, we only have this 450 watt one, but this is uh, the Antact. It's a continuous power power supply, so it's a, it's a good power supply. And it's really affordable at $37.98. Um, it leaves little room for additions and stuff like that, but there's not much you can add to this anyhow. So it is a good choice for this build, and it is what... Uh, as I showed you previously in the Tom's Hardware one, it's what they used as well, so I thought, hey, why not? The case this month, we have switched it over to an NZXT Technology Source 210 computer case for $34.23. I thought we'd switch it up as this is a, it is a budget case, but it, it looks a little better than last month's case, in my opinion. And finally, you can save $20.00. Uh, if you don't, if you don't go with an optical drive, but here we have this light on super all right DVD optical drive. Uh, you can save, let's say you want to save twenty dollars and install your OS some other way, USB key, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can save that twenty dollars and say bump up the hard drive to a one terabyte drive, uh, or you know spend twenty more dollars on a case and you can have fifty four dollars available for a case. So up to you, but. Uh, if you do want one, you can get an optical drive for fifteen to twenty dollars, and with all this included hardware this month, it comes out to six hundred and one dollars. Moving on, as usual, I include a few alternatives or upgrades to the builds. Uh, for a processor, you could bump it up for one hundred fifty-three dollars to an AMD FX eighty-three twenty eight core processor, uh, unlocked as well. Get a better graphics card, such as the uh, HD seventy-nine fifty here, uh, or 
as well I showed you here, you can go to uh, GeForce GTX 760 for 250 there, uh, up to you. Uh, the alternative PC case here, we have this NZXT Guardian 921. It's uh, It looks a little better, it's a little more spiffy looking, has uh, the LED blue lights uh, for $59.99. <clears throat> As I said, you could save that $20 from the optical drive and pour it into that. Uh, or, uh, like I said before as well, the one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive for $64. All right, moving on to the $1,000 build of the month for October 2013. We have the Intel Core i5-4670 quad-core processor, uh, again, for $229. I do not include a cooler in this build. However, I do recommend it if you're going to overclock right away. I, d I didn't include it again as uh, you can see that this build comes out to $1,002, so we didn't really have room for uh, the extra cooler. But as I, I do recommend, you can get the Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. I think it is $33 this month. The motherboard, I have switched up to an Asus Z87 Plus uh, motherboard for $144.99. Uh, it is a good motherboard, and it is in the realm of motherboards, the same range of motherboards as I chose the MSI Gaming Series 1 last month. However, that one bumped up in price to about $155, $160, so I didn't uh, think it fit in the spot. Any well, for one, it didn't fit in the budget, and it doesn't. I wouldn't spend $30 more if I didn't have to since it was $134 or $140 last month. However, this is in the same uh, realm of motherboards. Another recommendation could also be the Gigabyte Z87UD3H motherboard, uh, or if you can find it a little cheaper than this, the uh, ASRock Z87 Extreme 4 is a good choice as well. So a few other choices if you want to shop around. For a uh, graphics card, we have this Sapphire Radeon HD 7970, overclocked edition with boost. Uh, graphics card this month for $309.99. The same RAM as included in the $600 build above for $74.99 is 8GB kit of Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM. Uh, we have the 1TB Western Digital Blue for $64.99. Uh, I don't include a solid state drive but I do in the $1500 build and you can check the alternatives uh, for this build or the $1500 build for uh, options for a solid state drive if you like. The power supply, we have this 650 watt XFX Pro Edition uh, power supply for $76.49. The computer case I included this month was the Zalman, this new Zalman uh, case, the MS800. It's $79.99. I do kind of like Zalman cases once in a while when they come out because they have a lot of features, or a lot of bang for a buck, uh, in my opinion. So uh, here, I go to the site here. To give you a quick overview for $79, it's a, I think it's a nice looking case, has a nice uh, blue glow to it, and they kind of boast the cooling capabilities of the case. Uh, it comes with the, it has a potential of up to the five fans here, um, but it comes with the, f sorry, three, I believe. Yeah, the three, this 120 millimeter fan, this one on the back here, and this one on the internal one here, but it has the option for two more, if you like. And it also, yeah, it goes through, if you want to check out on their site, it goes through how the cooling capabilities. It also has the fan controller, which is kind of cool, and uh, power supply exclusive cooling, et cetera, et cetera. This block, dust block filter, uh, which can keep it kind of clean inside. So pretty good case for what, or pretty good uh, for what you get for a $79 case. And uh, I, have, I have a Zalman case myself, so I have no complaints at all. Moving on. Now for the alternatives for the, well, I guess I won't leave out the optical drive. So we have the light on optical drive for $20.95. And this bill does come out to $1,002 currently. And for the alternatives, uh, like I said above, you can get a solid state drive if you want. It does uh, severe, or severely, it, it increases your boot times uh, quite a bit uh, if you install your OS on it or a couple games, etc. This one is a Crucial M4 128GB for $105.24. Uh, you can upgrade the graphics card and get a GTX 770 for $399, same one as I do include in the $1500 build. Like I said, do get a CPU cooler uh, if you are going to overclock right away. And this is my recommendation here, the Hyper 212 Evo for $33. And then we have, uh, you can get another uh, Sapphire Radeon HD 7970 if you want a Crossfire, and that would really boost 
performance as well, but that would cost you another $309.99. All right, moving on to the $1,500 build for October 2013. We have the same processor, this Intel Core i5 4670K quad core uh, processor for $229. In the $1,500 build, I do include the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, so go with it, $33.24. What's cool about the $1,500 build is that I do have this high-end uh, Asus Maximus uh, motherboard, uh, the Gamer Republic of Gamers uh, edition of motherboards that they have, and it's a pretty cool board. It comes in at $207. Um, it has a bunch of features like uh, that they boast it's a super supreme uh, fx audio the, their ram disc uh, double up the speed of the ram uh which can increase your speed loading speed of games uh and they have this exclusive usb 3.0 boost um that can boost usb 3.0 speeds of up to 1.3 times as well it's a great uh board for enthusiasts who want to overclock as much as literally possible uh with their processor which is quite easily attainable with this 4670K processor. Um, for the graphics card, we have the, this uh, GTX 770 uh, for $309.99. It'll do what you need in any game you want. So especially at 1920 by 1080, uh, I don't think you'd ever have any qualms. Um, but even further than that, 2560 by 1600 resolutions. Uh, you should have no problem as well so if you have a monitor that high but to always know that you have that potential is good to know uh, with this build I do have the same brand of RAM <coughs> as in the other two builds uh, this crucial ballistics sport 16 gigabyte kit though so this is two 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM uh, this comes in at $119.27 and we have one terabyte Western Digital Blue for $64.95 hard drive. Uh, the included solid state drive this month is the Samsung Pro 128 gigabyte uh, edition hard drive, uh, solid state drive. This comes in at $131.49. Uh, another new release this month is the Corsair RM series of uh, power supplies, um, which is kind of cool. I've included it in this build. I've included the 750 watt edition one for $129.99. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, power supply line as it, they are very quiet. If under low uh, stress, they won't, they have the zero RPM fan. They're fully modular. They do look a little different. As you can see, they have the, the kind of rounded edges here. Um, they have the flat line cables and they also have the ability <clears throat> to install software to monitor fan speeds and stuff like that, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, this comes in, like I said, $129. Uh, you can get away with the 650 watt if you want. So you can save, I think it's about $20. So if, but I include the 750 watt for expandability reasons in the $1,500 build. So up to you. Um, the computer case is also a new Corsair release this month is the Corsair Obsidian series 750D uh, full tower case uh, coming in at a, a, an affordable $159.99. Uh, these are very popular cases, the Obsidian series. They're huge. You can stack a bunch in them. They look cool, sleek. They're really hardy. Uh, the side window is big. You can see a lot in it. I think I, yeah, I have it loaded here, as you can see. So yeah, lots of room in there. Lots of cooling capability. Look at this. You know, all the hard drives you can put in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a really nice case, and if it's it's one of those cases, if you like looking at the internals of your build, there they are. And yeah, I've heard that it is pretty heavy, but it's not as heavy as uh, some of the other obsidians, just due to the size of the side window, or uh, other cases, sorry. So yeah, that's the case for this month in the $1,500 build, and to top it off, we have the usual optical drive for $20.95, it's light on, optical drive, DVD drive, DVD writer, uh, and the bill comes out to $1,506. And for the alternatives for the $1,500 build, we have, if you want, uh, more processor, processing speeds, get an i7-4770K quad-core processor. Uh, $338.98. Um, good SLI if you're crazy and have a lot of money for $399 uh, with another GTX 770, which would be kind of cool. You can even boost up your graphics card, get a GTX 780, 
These are currently at $649.99. Or you could get more solid state drive uh, space if you want to dedicate more space in your solid state drive for $430.79 for this 512 gigabyte one. Uh, you can also get the 256 gigabyte one, which is a little less. Up to you again. Uh, all right, that does it for the three builds for this month here at New uh, Computer Build in October 2013. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. You can also visit the site here at noobcomputerbuild.com and leave a comment right on the article uh, where I would, I, I'll answer as soon as I can. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching and enjoy building. Thanks.